Welcome to the ARSC Leica TXP Microscopy Sample Preparation Milling SOP. This video is based on the Leica model EM TXP and only incorporates the tungsten carbide milling procedure. All ARSC policies and procedures apply. Please see the TXP Microscopy Sample Preparation System Standard Operating Procedures for the full protocol. If another use is needed, such as polishing, coring, or sawing, please consult your trainer for more information and see the appropriate standard operating procedure. To get started, remove the dust cover on the TXP MSP system. Turn on the unit by pressing the power switch on the back bottom left of the system. Put on the necessary PPE and rotate the pivot arm past zero degrees using the specimen pivot lever, then remove the protective cover. To attach the vacuum system, remove the extraction unit and connect the PVC adapter into the waste channel of the extraction unit and the vacuum as shown. It is important to make sure the adapter is properly attached for the best vacuum system possible. Place the extraction unit back onto the screws on the unit and plug in the vacuum. Place the miller inside the spindle head and use the small flat wrench number 12 to hold the spindle in place. Then use the bigger flat wrench number 17 to clamp the miller in place. Be sure to gently pull on the miller to ensure that the miller is fully clamped into the spindle head. Insert the sample into the holder and clamp it in place using the appropriate Allen key. Then insert the holder into the system. If milling at an angle, it is important to not place the sample deep into the holder as there is a risk of milling into the holder. Rotate your sample to zero degrees, then replace the protective cover. On the control panel, check that the RPM is set to 20,000 and the step size is at 100 micrometers for sample approach. Move the control lever directly in front of your sample and begin approaching the sample by turning the feed wheel counterclockwise. Stop the approach when relatively close to your sample and manually turn the miller attachment by turning the spindle head such that the tip of the miller is level with the top of your sample. Change your step size to 10 micrometers for a finer approach and using the control lever Make a full pass at the sample by slowly lowering the control lever, then advance using the feed wheel, and repeat until you scratch the surface of the sample or feel a slight resistance by the control lever. When contact is made, bring the control lever to the left of your sample and turn the vacuum system and the spindle motor on. Begin making a full pass at your sample, then advancing using the feed wheel. For the best surface quality, make slow passes and change the step size to 1 or 0.5 micrometers when advancing. Continue until your desired sample height is reached, then turn off the vacuum and spindle motor. To cut at an angle, turn the specimen pivot arm between 30 and 45 degrees and retract the miller a safe distance away. Then reapproach your sample. To produce a trapezoidal pyramid face for ultramicrotomy, it is recommended to cut at a 45 degree angle. Be sure to check that you will not run the miller into the sample holder or deep into your sample. Once you have reapproached your sample, turn on the spindle motor and vacuum system and begin milling the first side until the necessary angle face is completed. Using the adjustment mechanism, turn the sample 90 degrees and repeat until your trapezoidal pyramid is complete.
For TEM ultramicrotomy, it is important that the block face is approximately 1 by 1 millimeter. When finished, continue to the ARSC Leica TXP microscopy sample preparation system, standard operating procedure, for the next steps.